Welcome back everyone. Snowy here in Canada still. We're no longer in sunny Mexico. Like I just said, it's so snowy up here and we want to be working outside. We're tired of relaxing. We want to get our bodies moving. So we have decided to go down to the lower part of our property where the snow has already melted. We're going to start building a little bit of a road going towards our solar panels and then we're going to uh, switch back in and come back because we have a spot that we want to use for a garden. So we need to get a, a way to transport materials down there. So we're going to jump on the tractor, take it down and start building a little road. We've never used our tractor for this sort of thing before. So hopefully it goes well, but we'll see. Ready boy. All right, we are down below and we need to figure out exactly where the path is gonna go. Uh, we're probably gonna have to cut a couple trees down, just little dead ones that aren't, that never made it. Or snaggleyoids. Little snaggleyoids. <laughs> and yeah, see how this goes. See how it goes. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Mm. <laughs> Keeping my cool while we use a tractor on a hill. <laughs> not doing things crazy yeah it is uh we're gonna be cutting into the side of the hill so it's a little bit sketchy but if greg is digging up the pathway as we go back so that it's flat should be good, yeah, should be good. Let's see how it goes this will be a multi-part video i'm sure <laughs>
Push it over. Nope. Oh. the rocks okay, yeah, that's a good idea, and this dead stump too I'll drop it right there and it'll walk into that dead stump so we've got this tree right here is a big dead one Greg's gonna drop it so that it blocks any rocks from rolling down the hill um, we don't want them to be gaining all that momentum. There is a cliff kind of right there, and then it does level out a little bit, but yeah, we just don't want these rocks to be rolling down. So, especially with our solar panels, we're getting closer and closer to the panels. So we're gonna put this tree down and it's gotta get out of the way anyways, and it'll be a great way to stop the rocks.
my god. You're kidding me, man. <laughs> Fuel ran out. Careful, you don't want that to snap back. I mean, that sucks, really. <laughs> We got a ton of progress done on this road and starting to get to the point where we need to turn the tractor around, use the backhoe a little bit to uh, level out the road on the high side. But we're getting pretty hungry. It's time to uh, call it for the day. Get some dinner in us, some food, so we're not making stupid moves when we're hungry. So we are gonna head back up, but I think this has gone really well. And uh, it's gonna make all of our plans down here so much easier. We need to rebuild our solar panel stand. We wanna do some raised garden beds, maybe some fruit trees down here. Uh, maybe some animal pens. And yeah, this is gonna be awesome. So our plan is to go <clears throat> all the way down as far as we can and then we're gonna switch back and come all the way back a little bit lower uh, as far as we can here. So we should have a road that will run a decent length of the area in two spots. So we'll be have tons of access points to whatever we end up doing. Mud, more mud. Get some dinner on the go. Oh man, I'm hungry. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a dull knife when you're trying to cook a beautiful meal. And that is why we are very excited to have partnered with Husk Knives today to bring you this beautiful Japanese-inspired kitchen knife. Stemming from Japanese-inspired techniques and time-proven blacksmith traditions, the Husk Knife is a safe and durable tool coming in at 252 grams. It sits comfortably in your hand and allows the user control and precision to tackle any need you may have in the kitchen. The rustic style handle made out of oak 
and the stainless steel 38 degree blade edge ensure extreme sharpness for a very long time. Each and every detail of the husk knife has been checked over, providing you with the best quality Japanese inspired knife. The husk knife has completely replaced all of our other kitchen knives because of how sharp it is and how sturdy it feels in your hand. You can try out the Husk Knife risk-free with the 30-day money-back guarantee. And Husk is offering our viewers a 70% discount on these authentic Japanese-inspired knives. So you can click the link down in our description to check them out. And big thank you to Husk for sponsoring today's video. Well, so we're here we are. It's the fourth spring we've had this winter, but I think we're actually gonna, I think it's actually spring now. Everything is melting super fast. We've got some warm te daytime temperatures coming around and uh, it's got that smell in the air. I've been fooled by that smell in the past, but I think this is gonna happen. I, s I swear, if I see a robin, I'm gonna know for sure spring is here, but it's, beautiful rainy day and uh juniper come on juniper and i are gonna go and see if our spring box is running because it would be nice to not have to pack water and uh have the water hooked back up for the season so it's a little early yet for us for it to flow properly but we might be able to get lucky with it so we're gonna go take a peek. Ooh -ooh. Still a little snowy. Still a little snowy. <clears throat> Come on, Juniper, this way. Boo boo. Okay, let's go see if the water's running. Well, not quite there yet. Still gonna hike up the draw and see if there is any water filling in the spring box. It's only a matter of time by now. Okay, what's it going on here? Oh man. Not ready yet. Come on, Juniper. Next few days. Next few days. You learn a lot living like this about all the little systems, how the weather works, and everything all, all combined. <clears throat> and this just is not one of those years where this thing starts early. Usually it's mid March right now. Usually this thing's roaring by. Uh, you know, late February, and it's not even trickling right now, so. Day two of our road building project. We did have some rain yesterday, so we weren't able to work on it. It's been a nice sunny day, lots of melt going on here, and uh, we're heading down to keep going. We're gonna start working on the switchback. Uh, I'm walking down before Greg, so hopefully he remembers to put fuel in the chainsaw before he comes down to grab a strap because we do have to move the tree that we fell. The uh, chainsaw ran out of fuel when he was trying to fall it. So we had to push it over with the tractor and it didn't quite go where we wanted it to go. And we want to use the tree to prevent rocks from rolling down the hill. So uh, we need to get it positioned perfectly. So yeah, I'm heading down and uh, keep digging. Thank you. 
She's so crazy. So the plan is to come along here, go around this tree, come this way. And then I'm not sure exactly what the pathway is gonna be over here because we have all of these big trees right here. So, so we might have to go like right below where the road is above. So we we'll go around the tree and then kind of come back this way and kind of this tree right here I think is probably going to be the end point it's big it's a huge pine and then that'll be pretty close to where we want to be I think we're gonna grow some corn down here see how it goes it's gonna be very sunny and hot so I think it's a good spot for corn and it will be uh, up with the rest of our vegetables in the other garden blocking the sun from them. So we'll see how that goes.
you need to put something in that hole because it's just going deeper and deeper. That's a good idea. Prayer, come. Come. This way. Good girl. Well, we're just mildly stuck. <laughs> we uh, realized that the diff lock is not locking, so we've only got one tire and it's just not enough to pull through this. And now it's high centered under the tractor. So I guess that is the end of this project for now. Uh, we've called in our neighbor for help, but he's out of town for a few more days. So uh, it's gonna be time for him to pay us back for helping him get unstuck other times. So I guess we will pick this project back up once he is here and able to help us. But uh, Greg is not happy, so I'm not gonna film him. <laughs> but this sucks. <laughs> so we had a ramp like this going up there last year I think and when it was wet and slippery the goats figured out that they could only go up halfway and then they had to turn around and go into reverse the rest of the way. <laughs> He's not interested. Call him. Come on, Ips. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Get going, Nebby. Go on! Watch your back leg, buddy. Throw it into reverse. Nope. Let's go! <laughs> nah, I'd rather fight with him, Tori says. <laughs> you can get your ass kicked, man. <laughs> <laughs> 